Okay, we can start with uh, the first uh, our tutorial on modeling inside Udemy. And this is the practical example and usually uh, is a very classic example you can find in a lot of course around the world maybe. But uh, it's very good for understand uh, something of parameters, what is it, the parametric and procedural uh, modeling inside Udemy. We go to create the spiral staircase. It's very easy, we don't uh, take care on the more shape, but uh, I want to take care on some particular concept uh, you can find inside the modeling. So the first uh, things, uh, it's, uh, if you want, you can set in the project, you can go to file, you can uh, new project, you can uh, set in your project uh, folder, so I want to put here and I call spiral staircase and I don't need uh, of all this uh, so I don't need uh, this folder I can uncheck I need all the geometry, the geo, because maybe I want to uh, create the animation and uh, I want to save it. So I can create the uh, accept. And now I can go here, set project, means that, accept, and I can say spiral. case uh, 001 so we can uh, for example save in procedural way for example 002 003 for if you change something you can create a set okay we can start with with the basic interface with the build but uh, you can also switch with uh, another kind of interface on the desktop you want so we can start with the create the geometry node, geometry. Inside the geometry node, I can delete the file and create the box because I want to start with the step on the box. If you want, you can change, for example, for polygon, polygon mesh, and you have the mesh, you can uh, change the primitive types, but for now, we can use the polygon is, uh, is okay. I can create the transform node, so transform sop and connected and I want to change for example the dimension of my element. I want this change to scale by 2 in this direction and in this direction for example 0 0.1. Okay, I don't take care about the uh, for now, our dimension, if it is meters or centimeters, is a concept, conceptual uh, exercise, okay? But I want to move this from the pivot point. The pivot point is the pivot transform. You can click here and you can change, for example, minus one in that direction. So is go to minus one and is put here and you can find here your element. So it's very comfortable because now it's not in the middle but it's moved here, okay? After I want to start to modeling it and for start to modeling it, I can start to select. I want to give the, the shape is inside. I don't want this, this shape is like the rectangular but I want to move it a few and you can start here to say subnet, subnet uh, max selection you can for example right mouse button you can choose the point or pad number two from keyboard in fact two three or here you can find for example the points the edge and the polygon you can choose that 
and also here I have some icons is very nice it is uh, the box selected is the selection is by box the lazzo it's like la the line you can draw in and here you can select uh, only the visible element you can see for example if I don't see this vertex here when I selected I don't select it we can show uh, I don't I click on this I select this and I, he, here the point is become yellow from blue and you can see that the, the blue is not active this is not taken so I can disable for now I want to select all and also if I switch to the wireframe with the W you can see my element is taken okay now I can, when I select this, if I take, for example, the move or the scale or another kind of tools, select tools, for example, the scale in this, in this way, I see is actually within the, the edit swap. The edit swap, it's the swap for, and now you can see, for example, the group type and the group is the zero, three, four, and seven. This is the number of points you can take. Every every element have the particular description. Here you can see the display point number. The point number is more used also when you scripting with Vex and VOP. And you can see the point number if you happily you have the zero, four, three, and seven. Okay. Here you can, uh, I can disable. Here I can see also the, the normal for points. The trace, this is the, another kind of uh, uh, line. And this is the, the normals for ge the geometry. Okay. But this concept, maybe we can talk about this in another time. So now I can uh, scale it. I want to scale it inside, if you inside, I can scale, okay. And now I want also uh, give the different shape, for example, to this. I want to add some edge and move it in another direction for create a variation with the classic shape you can find around in the tutorial. Okay, for create and add another um, another each, you can cut or you can add with, uh, for example, in polygon, okay. Polygon here, you have more tools you can uh, use it. And sometimes when you use it from here, it's very fast respect to use it here or here. What I mean, for example, I can go here and choose the selection. Now I, I finish, I press enter. I quit enter, I finish my, uh, my command. I also ask here for 005, so it's the good uh, have the parameters with uh, not a strange dimension. I want to add here the line. And for add the line, I go to select and I go to select the each and I can select the each. And now I can, for example, or use the split. And if I go here in the viewport, because sometimes it's the difference work in the viewport or work in the network. If you work in the network, for example, I cre create the each and I don't find the each loop. Okay because the each loop is the split, poly split. It's the poly split. What is it's poly split and why I call the each loop? Because here in the, in the shelf, you find the each loop. Okay, if I press each loop, I don't see here nothing, but here I see is apply the poly split. Here I can move it, for example, and say, hey, I want the edge here. 
and also from the parameters I have here some information I can for example add if I create one is create in the middle of your geometry is the distance from here and this points is the middle and for example I can choose is divided in three parts is created two line two loops is regular with the distance and is created three part okay you can use that or for example you can do that in manually manually what I mean for example I can now I can put this here I come back here if I create the split what is split here I see I can go on this la this each and move it and create but it's not perfect this is not good because uh, you you can draw your line your cut but it's not more uh, regular and is you are not sure you can draw in in correct way because for example this vertex is not aligned with this and this and this this is not good for for me for my opinion so it's very good is create for example from the shelf okay or for example you can try if you go here you can select again call it split uh, you can see it's the same of this the second way okay you can't uh, uh, associate for example the uh, the line also you can for example close part now it's not working in the same way so it's very nice for example use the way from the shelf this is I think is the only tools you can create from the shelf if you want you can um, also use the circular uh, menu circular menu is very particular but uh, I show you in the next time I can use the two divided okay I want divided in two parts because I want now select the points this point and with the transformation with T I can put this here this this a few inside this is okay I use the difference shape also I can put this and here is the, the local with M you can go to the world okay you can associate the difference shape okay perfect and maybe also that we can okay. very crazy stuff that okay I have the difference shape but also I see with one node I edit all nodes all vertex around you can press enter you can finish okay now I want to select all my each loop here and apply the little bevel. The bevel inside is the poly bevel. I can go also from each, and from each I can select this. Double click is click all edge loop you can find. Also, I continue to see the point because I have the points is active here. I can click on this, and the display point is go away. Okay, I can press the shift for add and I can click on my edge or if I double click is go to take this loop and here double click is take this loop you have also the another shortcut for create the selection you can press the E and you can with the E you can go to select you can see create the selection but Usually I prefer 
you don't use that and for example double click shift double click shift double click shift double click and shift double click and also here now i want apply the the bevel the bevel is the poly bevel inside the um, you can find also here and you can for example from viewport you can tab poly bevel and you can apply it or for example you can okay i come back here make the again the selection okay if you press c you have the circular menu circular menu in this case is the main here is main but you can also change for example from uh, modeling you have poly modeling modeling or you can with the main you can go to the model you can find all your tools for modeling for poly if you come back you can go down with this line with this arrow double arrow okay you have the volume you have uh, the curve you have for example polygon and from polygon i want the poly bevel i click in automatically it's up to the poly bevel uh, personally i don't find uh, more practical this uh, uh, menu maybe sometimes yes but uh, if, if you customize these tools you you should customize for have a good uh, way for work for my opinion but uh, maybe it's better with the tab and call your tools if you want however here the poly bevel is apply on the edge and you can uh, use the fixed distance or the fixed width the width of the fixed distance for example you can apply you can see it's apply the the bevel how is uh, the uh, the kind of bevel is apply is the filter is with the chamfer solid crease or for example round with the round you can also uh, apply the difference maybe with the share shader view is better with w for active here you can choose for example how much you can choose how many division you can apply okay for example four it's okay for me and this is my shape i can have now i finish to modeling this uh, part this part is my step so i can create the new object and i can call step also uh, if you want you can create the visual group what i mean with visual group here i have the uh, create the network box if i selected all my nodes and click here is create this uh, uh, particular element you can click here you can move it and you can create like a group also you can uh, uh, minimize and maximize and you can see all your elements okay also if you want uh, you can select this if you press c in this part or you can click on this uh, icon with c is, is here you can see the color you can apply for example the difference color for understand what is this maybe this group you can remember this group is my uh, particular uh, geometry is uh, here and you can create this group is here or you can also select and delete and you can uh, uh, don't have that 